Come inside, don't be shy. Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way. With a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer. Yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays. The trailer park way. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbiker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Trailer Park Christmas 2015, where I show you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday. Well, I've got a calendar that you can download at TrailerParkChristmas.com that you can follow along, and I see today, and now this has been a favorite that people have been looking forward to, it says Spaghetti Stroganoff. Now, there is only so many times that you can make a dish of spaghetti over the hectic nights ahead. People are like, mmm, spaghetti again. Well, I'm going to show you how to turn spaghetti noodles into a kind of a fashionable stroganoff dish that has that creamy onion flavor, and it will certainly be a crowd pleaser on a cold winter's night. I'm going to show you how to make my spaghetti stroganoff up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2015. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my spaghetti stroganoff is sure a change from regular spaghetti on a quick dinner night. This has the taste of the sour cream and the onion flavor that regular stroganoff has, but with less ingredients and half the time. It's super simple to pull up on one crazy night that you're just home from shopping and you need to fix something fast for your family. I've got a big bowl of water here that I've got up to boiling. And I've got a package of spaghetti here. We're going to break the spaghetti in half. That makes smaller noodles and it cooks better that way. And hopefully don't put it all over the plate. There we go. And we're going to cook these up like the package says. And get that going there. And I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, once you have the noodles started, you can take one pound of ground beef. And if you need to, you can use two tablespoons of oil to make this slightly brown. So let's get this started up on the stove time. Okay, now that you have your ground beef all browned up, you're going to add four tablespoons of flour to this. And you're going to mix it around until it's well blended. Just like that. And that's just going to coat the beef. Just like that. And now you're going to add the seasonings. Now, you can adjust these to your malady or your taste, but you're going to need about a teaspoon of salt. And I'm not going to measure that because I know just about how much salt that I like. There we go. And you need about one four teaspoon of pepper. And I'm using the kind of grinding thing today. And I'll probably put a little bit more later on, but we'll just get a little bit in there now. Now you can add your favorite spice mix too, and I like Montreal steak seasoning. And we're gonna put that right on there, and Montreal steak seasoning really picks it up there. And this is onion soup mix, and this is two packets, and we're gonna kinda use half of it in the meat mixture. So let's use half of it, of the two packets actually, so just a little bit from that one too. There we go, right on into the skillet pan. And we're going to keep the rest of it on the side to mix in the other mixture. And this is two cups of hot water. We're going to mix this around gently until it's mixed up. And I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, we've got that all mixed up. And it's going to thicken up here in just a little bit. And that's when you know this part is ready. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, I've drained the noodles. And I found sour cream on sale. This is just a cup's worth. And we're just going to take that and put it on the noodles and mix that all around. And you remember that soup mix that you saved um, from the other mixture? You're going to dump that on in there too from both of the packets. Just like that. And let's give this a mix around. And I'll check back with you in just a moment. 
Okay, once you have the sour cream and the rest of the soup mix mixed up in the noodles, you're going to take your meat mixture and just pour that nice and evenly over the top. There we go. Oh, that smells so good with the onions. Now, you could probably put mushrooms in there, but I'm not a mushroom fan. I'm going to put some parsley up on top to make it look real pretty and green and festive for the holiday. There we go. And I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. And this is going to cook about a half hour like this in a casserole dish. So make sure that your dish can go in the oven. So go ahead and set your timer. And there you have it, my easy spaghetti stroganoff. This is really great to pull out for a quick dinner on a cold winter's night because people get bored of regular spaghetti and wow, it smells like the onions and you could have put mushrooms on it, but I don't like mushrooms, so I didn't put that on mine. But I put some parsley on it and I added some of my Montreal steak season into it and some special spices that I like. You could do that too. Leave a comment down at the bottom. Hold on a second. I've been trying all day to get that fly. I missed it again. I don't know how they get in here in winter. Anyway, I can't wait to try this casserole. This one's going to be a favorite of yours with the holiday. Let me get a little bit of that. Look at that sour cream sauce. Mmm! Taste that flavor! That is a winner! That is so good with that onion and wow! That is really, I make a dip out of that um, onion dip mix, but it tastes so good in this casserole. Wow! I hope you get a chance to make my easy spaghetti stroganoff. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And, of course, download the calendar at TrailerParkChristmas.com because I've got a video every day until December 25th, and you can follow along. I'm going to go finish this casserole and try to get this fly. I don't know how they're still around when it's winter. I don't know, but I'll see y'all back tomorrow. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide.